turn it off, please. Please. Thank you. Oh. How long have you been up? Don't know. Mages. Look, I know it upset you, what you saw last night, but... It's really not that bad. How'd you make that out? Because... this Richard obviously makes your mum happy. That's what you want, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... it's not right, is it? Your mum having a boyfriend. Look, I don't know what's gonna happen between your mum and Richard. But she likes him. So you've got to try and like him as well, haven't you? For her sake. Yeah, but what about you? Aren't you upset? No. Why should I be? You don't have to pretend. That's why you've been a bit funny lately, isn't it? It's okay, Dad. You've still got me. Missed you, you know. <laughs> Missed you too. Mm. Do you think we can make this work? I know I'm being selfish, making your face a life without children. Oh, but the other choice is a life without you, and I don't want that either. But I could give you both if I wanted. I just, I'm just frightened you might end up resenting me for it. Oh, look, who knows how things will turn out? Might decide to sell up and travel the world <laughs> in a couple of years. But we need to be together. Well, I just hope we're enough for one another. I think you're more than enough for most people. Now, back upstairs with your woman. I can feel <laughs> the replay of last night's highlights coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go up the back field and see if you can spot that Marsh Harrier again? I want to stay here. Well, go on, there's a good lad. We won't be long. Well, this is quite a predicament you've put me in. Well, rest assured, whatever decision you've made, Hayley and I will abide by your decision. I've no doubt you will. But I'd like to speak to Hayley alone, if you don't mind. Look, please don't blame Hayley for this. I accept full responsibility for what's happened. It's all right, Rory, really. Why don't you go on out way and search for that bird, and I'll come and join you when we're done. You OK? I'm just trying to keep busy till it's time to visit Simmons. Yeah, well, I still can't pretend I understand why you're going. I'm not sure I know myself. Right, I'm coming with you, then. Hey, don't be daft. You don't have to wait outside. I don't care. I'm not having you going on your own, so let's not argue about it, eh? OK. Come on. See you later. Ta-da. Ta-da, love. I mean, it could take a while for him to get used to seeing you with somebody else, but he'll be fine. I don't want him going off the rails again. I can't see that happening. It's my fault. I should have sat him down and talked it through. It's hard to be the perfect parent. Mm. Life has a habit of taking over sometimes. Yeah, I suppose. David will come round, you'll see. Just make sure next time Richard's over that you lock the door, front and back. So what are you planning to do? Hide Wayne away for the rest of his life. This isn't going to work. You've got to give him back. I can't. He's so happy with us. Surely you can see that. But he's not your child. You've abducted him. No, we haven't. So all we've done is remove him from arm. You're making it sound much worse than it is. Oh, it can't get any worse. Look at the facts. You've kidnapped Wayne. Now you want to pretend to be his mother. No, I don't. Is that why you think I've done this? I'm seriously beginning to wonder. Well, you're wrong. This isn't about me and what I want. This is about giving Wayne his child up back so he can grow up without fear of being hit every day. Oh, so instead he'll just be worried about what the police will do when they catch up with you all. Hardly the basis for a stable upbringing, is it? I don't suppose you'd be interested in this, Les? Underworld are having an open day to find new machinists. Oh, that's because that child snatcher's gone AWOL. I just put the cards up, Les. It's now to do with me. Look at this. They've got the filth all over the country searching for them. I know what I'd do to them if that was my life. We don't know the whole story yet, and you can't believe everything you're seeing there. Oh, I might have known you decided with those weirdos. Lovely. Thanks very much. See you Bye. again. I uh, didn't realise you got so busy in here. Oh, well, we do have a very loyal clientele. 
You must get to know everyone's business, then. Well, I like to keep abreast of local issues, yes. So, do uh, you know about that pair who abducted that lad? Oh, the croppers? Oh, yes, yes, the, the, the regulars of mine. I heard a rumour that one of them's a transsexual. That can't be right, can it? Well, it, it's not my place to say, but what I will say is yeah. this. If it... I know your face. You work for Gazette, don't you? Go on, sling your hoop. Only doing my job, love. Yeah, well, you're wasting your time in here, so hop it. And just remember, you make a living selling the stories I write. You should be thanking me. Out. And you keep this buttoned in future. <sighs> Look, you don't have to go through with this. We can walk away and forget about it. Don't. I, mean, I wouldn't think anything less of you if you did. I know. I mean, most people couldn't face up to this, Toya. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? Because I have to. Have you considered how Wayne's going to feel when he fully understands what's happened here? Even if you get away with it, you'll never be able to see his mother again. Will will sort something out. And he's going to be at the age when he'll want a bit of independence. He's hardly going to be happy staying cooped up with you two all the time. He understands the situation. He's not going to do out daft. Oh, he's obviously not your son, then. What's that supposed to mean? You're not saying this out of concern for Wayne, are you? You're angry because you still haven't forgiven me for what went on between us. Oh, I got over that a long time ago. It don't look that way to me. OK? Yeah, so... It still hurts. But it's not an easy thing to come to terms with. Your boyfriend telling you he wants to be a woman. Say what you want to say. I swear, I never set out to hurt you, Toya. I was angry. It just felt like everyone else is getting on with their lives. And I'm just watching mine go down the toilet. First I get thrown out my flat. Then I get pneumonia because I'm forced to sleep in the streets. And I could feel all this frustration building up inside me. And I just couldn't hold it in any longer. And before I knew what was happening, I'd totally and utterly lost it. And I just had to lash out on someone. And I don't know why, but it was you. And is that what you call what you did to me? Lashing out? No, I'm not trying to make light of this. But you're trying to make me feel sorry for you. That's what this sob story's all about, innit? I just want you to understand. I swear, I am not looking for an easy way out of this. Good. Because there are thousands of blokes out there who have to cope with much worse than you. And they don't go around forcing themselves on people. I know, I know. And I'll never do it again. Not to you, not to anyone. You can't even say the word, can you? You raped me, Phil. You waited down that ginnel till I got home, and then you raped me. That's not the behaviour of someone who's lost it. You knew exactly what you were doing that night. Oh, oh they're heavier than they look, I tell you. Welcome to the Rovers, and how are you today? Are you drunk or something? I want us all to greet everyone like that from now on. I've already trained, Gina. How? Right. And I've uh, put these little prompt cards behind the bar to remind you. Greet and smile. Aren't we going to sound like robots if we all say the same thing? I'm sure you can think of something original. Oh, and uh, keep smiling. How is he? 
crashed out on the sofa, hardly slept a wink. What's he said? Well, just what you'd expect. Why didn't you tell him before, Gail? It's no way to introduce your new boyfriend. Don't you think I realise that? I feel terrible about it. Yeah, well, it's done now, I suppose. So, serious then between you and Dickie Boy? It's David I'm concerned about at the moment. Oh, he's all right. He's more worried about how I'm coping. Says I can phone him if I need to talk. Y you know, I hope I don't turn out to be the bad guy here. I mean, the last thing we need is him taking sides. OK. I can always pop over later. We'll talk to him together. Present a reunited front. Thanks, Martin. I'd appreciate that. OK, it's done. But well, you are a friend of the Crockers, am I right? Yes, so but... So don't uh, you want to help to put their side of the story across? Well, I, I suppose Good. if you... Now, what's your take on all this bigotry surrounding Mrs Cropper's gender? Well, let me say first that Hayley is one of the nicest, most decent people you'll ever meet, so that really shouldn't be an issue. But uh, I admit, I, I did struggle a bit at first to come to terms with her decision to change sex. We were never really boyfriend and girlfriend, Ruth. We were in my eyes. But not in mine. All right, so maybe we never went on dates or kissed behind the bike sheds, but we couldn't have been closer. You must have realised how I felt. No, I didn't, I swear. Otherwise, I would have handled things very differently. I remember the day he told me. You asked me around to yours, said he had something important to say. Well, I got all excited because the night before you'd taken my hand in the park, told me how much you cared about me, how you always wanted me in your life, whatever. So, like the idiot I was, I'd convinced myself you were going to ask me to go steady. And then maybe one day we get engaged. Oh, Ruth, no. I couldn't have been more wrong, could I? I'm so, so sorry. I, I had no idea. Can you imagine how stupid I felt? And it never goes away, that feeling, you know. And then, after a while, you just drifted away. Well, I didn't want to. But you were so different towards me, like you couldn't truly accept it. And I couldn't blame you. I wonder if I'd known why. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but you have been rather a while. Is everything OK? Can you give us a minute, please, Roy? Oh, yes. No, look, it's all right. Um, I'll not pretend I can do what you've done, but I've decided to let you stay a few more days. I'm hoping by then you'll see sense and give yourselves up. But if not, you're on your own. Aren't you forgetting, Summit? You've already told me why you did it. What? That night at my mum's, when I realised it were you. Remember, you said it was my fault. That I never should have been pals with Dougie Ferguson, so I needed showing. I didn't know what I was saying. I was out of control. This is all because I wouldn't help you scam Dougie Ferguson, innit? No, no, you're wrong. Admit it. You did this to me for the sake of a few hundred quid. Well, why wouldn't you help me, eh? That money could have changed my life around. See, it's OK for you, you cosy little barge up. I've got nightmares. You're sick! You still blame me for this, don't you? All that stuff you said before were a load of rubbish! Well, just go, will you? Why? Is this not going quite as you'd planned? Well, tough. Cos it's about time you faced up to what you did. Come on, budge up. Oh. Mum told me what happened. Yeah, so? So, it's all right to get upset, David. I probably would have done at your age. Oh, and what are you? Miss Mature all of a sudden? No, but I do understand why Mum needs a bit of company now that Martin's gone. Well, she's got us, hasn't she? Yeah. But it's not really the same, though. You need friends outside the family, otherwise you'll go mad. Yeah, but this Richard in a friend is a boyfriend. Well, you wouldn't get upset if I had a boyfriend. Well, that's different. That's you. Well, you're probably going to start bribing some poor girl into going out with you soon, like Rosie Webster. Hey, dream on. Anyway, he's probably going to be so desperate for us to like him that he's going to be really nice to us. What? Do you reckon he'll buy us presents and stuff? Maybe. Let's hope he's loaded, yeah? Yeah. 
I could try and con an upgrade for his computer. So come on, dish the dirt. Was it just a kiss on the cheek you saw or a full-blown snoggy with tongs? Ugh, get out of here. You aren't locking up, you. <laughs> I thought you'd want to see me dead. No. I want to see you face the consequences of what you did for the rest of your life. Like I've got to. Believe it or not, this, this drove me at all. Oh, so you're the victim now, then? You're pathetic, do you know that? I am so sorry, Taya. So why aren't you pleading guilty, then? See? That's how sorry you are. You'd rather make me out to be a liar than admit you're responsible. But I can't. I don't want to stay in here. I don't care about what you want. This is about you doing the one last decent thing you can. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll do it. I'll plead guilty. Good. Because that means I'll never have to look at you or be anywhere near you ever again. Tyler. Do you think you'll ever be able to forgive me? Changing your plea might help you to come to terms with what you've done. But no, I'll never forgive you. Are you saying that you've never met Wayne's parents, even though he's a pupil of yours? Look, as I said before, no. I think that's shocking. I mean, it's, it's absolutely imperative that parents take an interest in the children's education. Don't you agree, Doctor? Oh, I uh, stick to medicine, me. It, 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 it just puts a whole different spin on things. I mean, if Wayne's parents are negligent, then, well, perhaps he's better off with Roy and Haley. Look, I never said they were negligent. Oh, look, there's a table for you over there. Shall we, um... Good. Mm. I'll join you, cos I'm determined to get to the bottom of this. Come on. Welcome to the Rovers. How are you today? Fine. What's all this about? It's Dougie's idea. It's supposed to make the customers feel more at ease. Oh, well, personally, I prefer a good old-fashioned hello. And I'll have my usual, please. Right. She's got a point, you know. I don't think folk round here are going to take to this. I'm determined to drag this place into the 21st century, whether the old school like it or not. Ooh, you ready for this? Let's hope we can manage to talk them round. Hi, you two. Thought we'd all have tea together tonight, if that's OK. Oh, no, not another family conference. All right, clever clogs. We have got something to discuss, yeah? Well, if it's about Richard, then it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Go on. Well, I'm sorry I ran off like that last night. It's me who should be saying sorry. That was a dreadful way for you to find out about him. Well, it's just... Well, I wanted you and me dad to get back together. But if you're really not going to... then well, I guess it's OK for you to have a boyfriend. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I know what a difficult thing that was for you to say. Yeah, well, he's a bright lad. And he doesn't want us turning into a pair of lonely old whingers, do you? What do you mean, turning into? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, but it's not fair, is it? I mean, you're still on your own. Well, yeah, for now, maybe. But, well, I'm not going to rattle around that flat alone forever, am I? Yeah, but you don't have a girlfriend yet, do you? So why don't I spend the rest of the holidays at yours? That way no one has to be lonely. Well, I can't deny it's been great having him around. OK. If that's what you want, then give me and your dad time to sort something out, OK? There you go. You're still shaking. Are, are you going to tell me what happened? When I arrived, I tried to convince myself it was someone else visiting him, not me. Like it were all some sort of bizarre dream. But as soon as I saw him, as soon as I heard his voice... Hey, come on. I mean, let's not do this now. You've had enough for one day. Do you know he tried to kill himself? What? He, he told you that? He didn't need to. I saw the evidence. 
Yeah, well, it's a shame you didn't succeed, innit? Oh, well, I need to get changed. I don't suppose there's a brew on the go, Toya. I'm dead on my feet here. Well, I'll see to that, Lisa. Are you all right, love? What's going on? Well, she's a bit under the weather. No, it's all right, Sam. I went to see Phil Simmons today. You what? I couldn't get the letter out of my head. I needed to hear what he had to say. Did you know about this? Yeah. Then why didn't you try and stop her? Who knows what damage that pervert's done now? Look, I'm all right. In fact, I'm glad I went. He's changing his plea to guilty. You're kidding. Before today, I couldn't even think about Simmons without feeling sick. But seeing him there today, looking all pathetic, well, he's lost his grip on me. I'm not frightened anymore. Come here. You go on, we'll do this. Maybe Ruth will be right. Who knows what effect this is going to have on Wayne in the long term? Which is short term needs that must be our priority. But are we just being selfish in all this? I mean, maybe our motives are a bit mixed up. Look, we, we've lost our home, our, our jobs, our friends. I fail to see how that can be seen as being selfish. But where are we going to go when we leave here? I don't want to keep running. No. No, how do I? I think I should go back to Weatherfield, collect our passports. No, you're not serious. No, I've thought long and hard about this. There's, there's no future for us here anymore. But we'll never get away with it. The police are bound to have alerted the airports. And what do we do? Hand him back? No, of course not. Then we need to take a risk. If this is the only way of giving Wayne the life he deserves, the sooner we're out of this country, the better. <laughs> 